Bunsen Labs Linux is one of those distributions that quietly exist in the background of the Linux world, never making loud headlines, never chasing hype, and never trying to compete with flashy mainstream operating systems. Instead, Bunsen Labs focuses on something far more subtle and refreshing. Simplicity, speed, and a lightweight experience that respects the roots of the Crunchbang legacy. To understand Bunsen Labs, you need to understand where it comes from and why a dedicated community continues to support it after so many years. In this video, we will explore the story, philosophy, user experience, strengths, weaknesses, and unique character of Bunsen Labs, diving deep into what makes it both special and misunderstood. This is a distribution built not for the masses, but for the people who appreciate elegance through minimalism, control through clarity, and performance through efficiency. When Bunsen Labs first emerged, it wasn't an attempt to reinvent Linux. Instead, it was created to carry forward the spirit of Crunchbang, a legendary lightweight distribution that combined Debian stability with the open box window manager. Crunchbang was adored by many for its clean, minimalist design and the way it transformed the computer into a fast, distraction-free work environment. When its creator discontinued the project, the community stepped in and kept the flame alive by creating Bunsen Labs. This wasn't just a fork, it was a tribute. A tribute to a philosophy that believed in doing more with less, achieving beauty through simplicity and offering a system that was fast, clean, and customizable without unnecessary complications. Bunsen Labs carried this legacy forward. On Overchimi, it evolved into its own identity, developing new themes, tools, scripts, and enhancements while staying true to the Crunchbang core. The moment you boot into Bunsen Labs, the first thing you notice is how minimal the desktop is. There's no clutter, no overwhelming panels, no bloated icons or distracting widgets. Instead, you see a clean open box environment with a simple wallpaper, a tinted panel, and a right-click menu that acts as your gateway to the system. This is very different from the traditional desktop environments many people are used to. There's no start menu button, no large taskbar, and no glossy animations. It's a desktop that gives you nothing more than what you need, but also nothing less. The right-click menu serves as your central navigation tool, and the tint to panel displays your running applications, system tray, clock, and minimal indicators. This design creates an environment that feels both incredibly fast and visually calming. For people who enjoy focus and productivity, this is a dream setup. For newcomers expecting something like Windows or Mac OS, it can be a shock. But once you get used to it, you realize how efficient it truly is. There's a fluidity in the experience that many heavier desktops simply cannot match. Performance is one of Bunsen Lab's biggest strengths. Because it uses Openbox, one of the lightest window managers available, the system consumes very few resources. Even on decadent hardware, Bunsen Labs can feel snappy, responsive, and modern. It's the kind of distribution you can install on a laptop that has long been abandoned by other operating systems. For people who love reviving old machines, Bunsen Labs is a treasure. It gives them a way to bring their old hardware back to life without sacrificing features or beauty. But Bunsen Labs isn't only for old systems. On modern hardware, it becomes incredibly fast, almost instant in its response times. Applications open quickly, the system boots fast, and everything feels frictionless. This speed is not the result of shortcuts, but a deliberate design choice. Openbox doesn't burden the system with animations, visual effects, or heavy graphical layers. It gives you a lean interface that simply gets out of your way. However, minimalism comes at a cost because Bunsen Labs doesn't use a traditional desktop environment like GNOME. K-Day, XFCE, or Cinnamon, users must learn new ways to control and customize the system. Many things that GUI environments handle through easy settings panels require editing configuration files in Openbox. If you want to change key bindings, you open a config file. If you want to customize menus, you edit XML files. If you want to adjust system behavior, you search through various config directories. For beginners, this can feel intimidating. For advanced users, it's liberating. Bunsen Labs assumes that its users enjoy manual customization and have a bit of curiosity about how Linux works under the hood. It provides scripts and tools to assist, but it never hides the underlying structure. This transparency is part of the appeal, but it is also part of the challenge. One of the most iconic features of Bunsen Labs is its theming. The developers and community have crafted a sleek, modern look that blends dark tones, subtle gradients, and clean lines. The default theme is neutral and elegant, making the desktop look professional and cohesive. 
The Conky System Monitor on the desktop gives you real-time information about your system in a stylish and unobtrusive way. It's a signature part of the Bunsen Labs. Look, users often customize it to create visually appealing setups that appear in screenshots across Linux forums and stuff. Bunsen Labs isn't flashy, but it is aesthetically impressive in its own minimalist way. It demonstrates how simplicity can be beautiful when thoughtfully designed. Under the hood, Bunsen Labs is powered by Debian Stable. This is important because Debian gives users access to a massive repository of software, along with long-term stability and reliability. It means Bunsen Labs inherits one of the strongest foundations in the Linux world. Many users choose Bunsen Labs because they trust Debian, but want a lighter, faster experience than what Debian's default desktop environments offer. This combination of Debian stability with open box efficiency is one of the reasons Bunsen Labs remains so appealing. But Debian Stable also has limitations. The software versions are often older than what you'd find on Arch or Fedora. If you want the latest cutting-edge software, you might feel frustrated by Debian's conservative approach. While this stability is great for reliability, it can be limiting for users who want the newest features. However, Bunsen Labs users are usually the type of people who value stability over novelty, so this trade-off fits the distro's overall philosophy. The installation process for Bunsen Labs is straightforward thanks to the Debian installer. It isn't flashy, but it's reliable. Once installed, Bunsen Labs includes a set of pre-configured tools designed to make the system more usable without breaking its minimalist style. These include scripts for updating, installing essential software, configuring OpenBox, managing Tint2, and adjusting content. The Bunsen Labs team has put a lot of thought into creating an environment that feels polished despite its simplicity. New users are often surprised at how cohesive the experience feels given that it's built from such minimal components. One of the unique strengths of Bunsen Labs is its community. The people who use Bunsen Labs often share a deep appreciation for lightweight computing, minimalism, and the Crunchbang legacy. The forums are filled with helpful users who take pride in assisting others, sharing configurations, and maintaining the friendly, relaxed atmosphere that Crunchbang was known for. This sense of community continuity is rare in the Linux world, where fragmentation often makes projects feel isolated. Bunsen Lab stands out as a place where users genuinely appreciate the philosophy behind the system and contribute positively. This welcoming environment helps maintain the project's charm and keeps its users feeling loyal. However, Bunsen Labs is not without its criticisms. Some people argue that the open box approach feels outdated, especially when compared to modern desktop environments with more features and integrated tools. They say right-click menus feel primitive, that tint to lax advanced functions, and that editing config files manually is too much work for basic tasks. They prefer more polished or automated environments that offer drag and drop customization, graphical settings, and integrated control centers. While these criticisms are understandable, they also miss the point of what Bunsen Labs is trying to achieve. Bunsen Labs isn't meant to compete with GNOME or KDE. It exists for people who want something different, something lighter, something more under... It's a distro for people who value control, simplicity, and efficiency over visual effects and convenience features. Another criticism is that Bunsen Labs can feel too bare bones after installation. Some users expect a complete set of applications ready to go, but Bunsen Labs intentionally ships with a minimal set, allowing users to install only what they need. This aligns with the philosophy of avoiding bloat, but it can surprise newcomers who expect a more fully stocked environment. For example, you may not find all your favorite productivity or multimedia tools pre installed but the idea is to give you a clean slate without forcing unnecessary applications onto your system. Bunsen Labs also faces challenges common to many smaller Linux distributions. Its development team is small, and maintaining a distro takes time, effort, and dedication. Releases tend to follow Debian cycle, which can be a long wait. And when major updates happen, it requires testing, theming, documentation updates, and community coordination. While the community is dedicated, the smaller team size means things can move more slowly than users might expect from larger projects. But this slower pace is also part of its stability. Rushed updates often bring breakages, but Bunsen Labs avoids this by focusing on polish rather than speed. The open box window manager itself, while powerful, is also a double-edged sword. It gives users immense flexibility, but it requires understanding and patience. Customizing OpenBox can be deeply rewarding, but it's not plug and play. Some users enjoy creating custom key bindings, color schemes, menu entries, and behaviors. Others find it tedious and wonder why basic tasks require editing XML. This divide reflects the broader tension between minimalism and convenience in the Linux community. 
Some want a curated experience. Others want control over every detail. Bunsen Labs definitely leans toward the latter. Gaming on Bunsen Labs is possible, but not ideal because it uses a lightweight environment and Debian stable. It often lacks the latest drivers and gaming optimizations that more modern or gaming focused distributions offer. Proton, Steam, and Lutris can run, but you may need to update drivers manually or tweak settings to get the best results. For casual gaming or retro games, Bunsen Labs works fine. For high indoor competitive gaming, users may prefer distributions with better GPU driver support or newer kernels. But again, Bunsen Labs is not targeting gamers. It targets users who want a fast, distraction-free desktop. Despite these limitations, Bunsen Labs has a charm that is difficult to explain until you use it. It feels honest. It feels focused. It doesn't try to be everything to everyone. Instead, it tries to be great at one thing, providing a lightweight, elegant, and highly customizable environment built on a rock-solid foundation. It embraces a philosophy that values efficiency, transparency, and simplicity. It is a distribution that rewards curiosity and encourages users to shape their systems according to their own preferences. In a Linux world filled with heavyweight distros trying to mimic Windows or Mac OS, Bunsen Labs stands apart by offering something completely different. Using Bunsen Labs can be a meditative experience. The simplicity of the desktop encourages focus. The speed encourages productivity. The minimalism encourages clarity. It feels like a tool built for people who enjoy technology but don't want it to overwhelm them. For writers, developers, researchers, and minimalists. Bunsen Labs offers a calm and efficient environment. And for people using old hardware, it offers a second life for machines that would otherwise be discarded. At its core, Bunsen Labs is more than just a Linux distribution. It's a continuation of a philosophy that values thoughtful design, user empowerment, and the beauty of simplicity. It's a community-driven effort that preserves the best elements of Crunchbang while adapting to modern needs. It's a lightweight powerhouse that proves you don't need a heavy desktop to have a polished and capable system. In a world where operating systems are becoming increasingly complex, bloated, and controlled, Bunsen Labs stands out as a beacon of minimalism and efficiency. It reminds us that computers don't need to be overloaded with unnecessary features. It shows that a clean, fast, and customizable environment can be beautiful without being flashy. It demonstrates the power of open source collaboration and community resilience. Bunsen Labs may not be for everyone, but for the people who appreciate what it offers, it becomes a long-term companion. It becomes a system they trust, understand, and enjoy. And that is the real magic of Bunsen Labs. It doesn't want to dominate the Linux landscape. It simply wants to provide a thoughtful, elegant, and lightweight experience for those who value control, speed, and minimalism.